This is David Daly, or as these wonderful kids know me as Mr. Dave, and I am uh, lucky enough to be their music teacher for this year, and this is our holiday concert. Alright, uh, so uh, first things first, I would like to explain to you guys a little bit about uh, why we do the things that we do. Alright, uh, the first thing the first thing we have on the docket is sound exploration, because at this age, we don't always do these uh, the exact right way. We just like to explore them, and that's the right enough way for us. So, <clears throat> all right, everybody, remember to fly with us. And so on and so forth, simple things like that. And the next thing, the most important skill they can learn at this age is to keep a steady beat. Everybody, put your hands on your knee. Steady beat, steady beat. I can keep a steady beat, steady beat, steady beat. I can keep a steady beat. And, and the, next, oh, the next progression is to uh, do it with the song. Everybody, let's let your parents do your best singing voice. If anybody noticed, that was actually in triple meter as opposed to the usual duple, so good job there. <laughs> can we do it one more time, even louder? Can we do it on our head this time? And we explore with our bodies. Is there somewhere else on our body other than our our legs or our head that we can keep a nice steady beat? Who wants to do it? Raise your hand. No, or no, yeah, no. Go, buddy. On our belly, everybody keep a steady beat on your belly. Ready, and. That's pretty good singing for a preschooler. <laughs> Well, most of the time. It's a completely other thing to make up their own. The highest form of musical learning is improvisation. And while this uh, this may not be what you yourself and jazz people do, this is the first step. So what we're going to do, everybody, can you take out your pretend rhythm sticks? Show me your pretend rhythm sticks. And you're going to make up your own rhythm. You can either, you can either hit them, or what else can you do with them? Rub them, that's right. Somebody's knocking at my door. Somebody's knocking at my door. Ooh, won't you drink my lunch? Somebody's knocking at my door. Now, I haven't tried this before, so we'll see how it works, but we're going to try and get everybody a chance to do this. All right. <laughs> All right. Now, everybody with the rhythm sticks are not going to play the same thing as each other. They're going to do their own thing. So it's it's going to make sense when it happens. I promise. Maybe. All right. You ready, everybody? Can you use your loud singing voice for your parents? What? First, everybody, give me a proud statue. Everybody, show me a singing statue. Here we go. Ready, act. Yeah. Yeah. So 
I get them up here. Yeah.
Ben, uh, usually at the end of class, one of the last things we do is, oh, their patience is so good today. This is great. Thank you, everybody. Um, is we will often uh, go towards the end of class telling a story, but this one I want to help. have the toy shop. Toy shop, go. All right, and stop. And now we have the reindeer. Reindeer, go. Check, go. All right, and stop. This is the story of the lost elf. One day in Santa's toy shop at the North Pole, all the elves were making toys for all the good girls and boys. It was very loud. There was lots of hammering and sawing going on in the toy shop. It kept on going, except they were running out of wood, and so one, one elf was sent out into the woods to get lumber, <laughs> to get lumber. As he walked into the woods, the toy shop got quieter and quieter and quieter until he used his ears and realized that he was lost. He couldn't hear the toy shop anymore. He turned one way and listened. But all he heard were scary noises. <laughs> and he kept walking. And as he walked the other way, he heard the softest jingle he'd ever heard. Softest, softest. And as he got closer, it got louder and louder and louder and louder until he came around the corner and saw it was Santa and his reindeer. He went and said, "Hello." And the reindeer came and whisked him back to the toy shop. And, and he was happy to be back home. Embarrassedly got lost, but happy there was one of the few elves to ride in Santa's sleigh. Before our, before our last song, before our last song, uh, I would like to invite you all to please join us in the cafeteria right here afterwards for sweets and punch. Uh, so that'll be a good time. Uh, that'll be nice. It's about to get loud in here. I'm sorry. Remember, show me what you do and drink about until we're ready. Everybody ready? Ready. Sing out loud for your parents. 